everybody. It's Street Star Cardistry, the card collector, and today we're here with the Chinatown Fontaine cards, the yellow edition. This is their eighth deck, I believe, and uh, we're going to crack open one today and take a look at what's going on with these guys, what's different. Uh, these were made by Zach, of course, and Mike Shermain or Chairman and Alexander Bortz. Apologize if I said anybody's name wrong. Um, distributed by Fontaine Cards and printed on bicycle stock by the United States Playing Card Company. Um, I picked up a few of these decks. They did run twenty bucks a piece. Um, kind of pricey for a deck, um, but it is what it is. They uh, had a little pop up going down in LA, and we're selling these down there first before they actually hit the website and were sailed to the rest of the public. Um, I believe alongside the decks, they also had some clothing, apparel, uh, sweatshirts, t-shirts, fanny packs, some keychains, um, stickers, which they sent me a couple stickers with the decks. Didn't have to pay for these additional. Um, and uh, they're just hitting it with some uh, marketing ideas now the base of this deck uh, was to I believe kind of make it look like a bootleg deck like uh, somebody was copying it and trying to distribute it you know so they did drawing of the entire deck I believe we'll find out when I crack them open um, so all the courts and everything like that are hand drawn <clears throat> so, let's get into the deck, check it out, and see what we got. Seal was easy to get off. Okay, on the tuck itself, I got the Fontaine cards with the smiley face on the front. Distributed by Fontaine Cards, Los Angeles, California. Made in the USA. Uh, and this is one of 10,000. So, these decks are limited. They're not going to be printed again. <clears throat> on the flap, we got Fontaine, and on the two little guys, we got some sm more smiley faces. Nothing else on there. Let's pull these guys out and see what we got. All right, first thing I see is an ad card, Fontaine cards. There's the back. What we all know from Fontaine's. Just in a bright yellow. Another ad card. Thank you, have a nice day. Similar to, well, the same as the sticker that they sent me. Another ad card. But this one says Chinatown Market. The other one's Fontaine. And 56 cards for only $19.99. Crushed to perfection. Made in the USA. Classic stock. Poker Pros approved. Premium finish. Glorified fidget spinning. That's what it says on that guy. Anything else? Nope. We're getting into the deck. Okay. Ace of Spades. Now, right off the bat, I noticed that... Uh, the spade is a little crooked, and I believe that is intentional because these are all hand-drawn. Same with the twos. You can see up here that it's not even. All right, let's get to the quartz. There's your jack. Apologize for the glare. Queen, got a little Cyclops lady going on. Same with the King. Ace of Diamonds, they got that Rose. Kind of cool. Rest of the pips still kind of look uh, a little uh, offbeat. All right, into the diamonds, we got 
Smiley face. She's upset. Yep, he's happy. He's a king. <coughs> Clubs. Something going on with this lady's eyes. You can see that one's a little different on the club. Look at her eyes. And look at her eyes. So, definitely hand drawn because it's not duplicated. <laughs> this guy's got black, blacked out eyes on the bottom. And this guy's got something hanging out of his mouth. Actually, it's out of his nose. <laughs> So these are interesting cards. They're definitely different. And now that I'm looking at them closer, you know, each face is different. You know, this one looks real similar, but still has some differences. Oh. Ace of hearts, got a snake on it. Oops, I skipped the ace clubs. Oh, it's got the little Mickey hand on there. And they did. They threw the mouse in there, like the a generic Mickey Mouse on a lot of their stuff. Uh, like on this uh, sticker that they sent. And I've seen that on <clears throat> some of the uh, T-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that that they had on their website. But that's the deck itself. They are slippery like uh, Fontaine's normally are when you get them right out the box so you definitely got to shuffle them up and break them in a little bit but they feel pretty damn good um, besides the slickness which I don't like so normally when I bust open Fontaine's I, I definitely do break them in very well but that's the deck pretty cool it's different. It's definitely different. So um, if you get a chance, if you're willing to spend $20 for a deck, go ahead and pick yourself up a set. Um, the Fontaines that I've had in the past, they last pretty long. They're decent cards. They're printed by the United States Playing Card Company, so they are good cards. They're not junk from, you know, a small-time uh, printer. Excuse me. So... And a lot of people like these. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was because of the cardistry movement, because of Zach uh, and the Fontaine deal, but I'm not saying they're bad cards. I think they're great cards. But for 20 bucks, shit, you can get two or three decks of something else. That's just my personal opinion. Obviously, I bought them. I bought three decks. Um, because they are cool. They are different. I like them. I'm a collector. So that's what I do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was the Fontaine Chinatown edition. So, look at that. Even the box is sliding around. That's like the deck. <laughs> I'm just screwing off. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe. Check out the channel. Stay tuned for more content. I'll keep on bringing new decks and unboxing them for you so you can take a look before you go out and purchase them. Maybe... You know, you might hit a deck that, oh, I might really like that. You see it on my channel and be like, shit, I don't really care for that. I'm not going to waste my money. You know, that's, that's, I'm just trying to help out. Or you may fall in love with it and go buy it. Or a brick of them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.